everyone welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing my February wrap-up which seems kind of crazy and I'm doing mine kind of early but I'm trying out this new format of doing my TBR and my wrap-up separately only because I read so many books that I really want to be able to go into in-depth plot analysis with you guys with each book so I don't just have to rush right through them so I can get through them all. Um, but if you guys really want the TBR and the wrap up to be together, I'll leave a poll so you guys can vote and tell me do you want them together or do you want them separately. I'm trying it out for today. If you guys hate it, let me know. So let's just get started into what I read in February. So I read 11 books this month and I'm going to start with my highest rated books and go to my lowest rated books. So I read a lot of five star books this month. Um, and this book I haven't actually finished, but I'm, it, I only have about 50 pages left. So I'm counting it as that I finished it because I'm going to finish it in the next week. And that is Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. I absolutely love this way more than I thought I was going to. Obviously, I'm sure you guys know what A Game of Thrones is. It is the first book in the A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R.R. R. Martin, which is now a TV show. So, at the core of this book, it is a mystery of who killed Jon Arryn. There's about eight surrounding subplots that go on. Okay, my two definite favorite characters are Jon Snow and Daenerys Targaryen. I loved this. I am so excited to continue the series, which I will be doing it next month. Another five star book I read this month was What She Knew by Jilly McMillan. Um, I had never heard of this, never, I would never seen it. Um, I was just browsing the Target book section and I found it and I finished this book in one day. I absolutely loved this book. It is kind of like a Dateline thriller mystery all wrapped in one. So this book follows Ben who is with his mom, Rachel, when they are walking through a forest and he asks his mom if he can run up ahead of her really quickly and she says sure as long as he's safe and it just so happens that he gets abducted. So it's all told through different perspectives and then through an interview, which is so unique. I've never heard of that. And um, I, I really, really enjoyed this. I'm not going to give too much away because I don't want to spoil it for anybody if you're thinking about reading it, but I highly, highly recommend this. The end I didn't predict. Um, I did not predict what was going to happen, so I really like that. I really like when I can't tell how it's going to end because that way it keeps me reading. Another one of my five star reads was Big Girl, How I Gave Up Dieting and Got a Life by Kelsey Miller. I did a book talk on this. I absolutely loved this book. A bunch of you guys told me that you bought this book and you're going to be reading it, and I highly, highly recommend this. It talks about Kelsey Miller's journey through intuitive eating after she's had an eating disorder and she kind of explains her relationship with food and if you're somebody who has dealt with something like that I feel like it will be so relevant to you and you'll definitely be able to understand what she has to say. Another one of my five star reads was Maya Angelou's Wouldn't Take Nothing For My Journey Now. This book was phenomenal. It was very short. It's under 150 pages. It is Maya Angelou's different essays that she's written and there's something in here that you can relate to. There's things in here that are heart-wrenching. There are things in here that make you want to laugh. Um, it's great. It's awesome poetry. Even if you don't love poetry, it's something you should check out. I read two Karen Whitmire books. Um, I read A Tailor-Made Bride and Head in the Clouds. These are both Christian fiction books um, and they're standalones. They both have the same kind of plot. A girl moves to Texas, finds a guy, falls in love. Um, both really good, both really fun. I really enjoyed both of them. And then another Christian fiction book I read this month was A Voice in the Wind by Francine Rivers. I loved this book. It is the first book in a trilogy, um, the Mark of the Lion series. I really, really enjoyed it. This book follows a woman named Hadassah who is living during the time when the Romans were overthrowing Jerusalem um, and she becomes a slave for this family and she starts preaching the gospel and it's just an awesome fiction book um, and I started the next book in the series and it is so good so I highly recommend that as well. So now on to my four star reads. The first book is going to be November 9 by Colleen Hoover. Um, I had heard so many things about this, so I decided to go to Target and pick it up. And I liked it, and 
I can't say too much about it because I don't want to spoil the plot for you. I didn't know hardly anything going into this book. Um, I knew it was two people who met on November 9th. I didn't understand anything else and that's important. I did enjoy Colleen Hoover's writing style. This was my first Colleen Hoover. Um, the reason I gave it four stars instead of five was just there were some cheesy moments in it and I know all romance kind of has some cheesy moments but I think it was just kind of an overload for me. Hey, another four star read I had this month was Isla and the Happily Ever After by Stephanie Perkins. This is the wrap up to the Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door kind of trilogy. They're not necessarily intertwined but the characters do reappear in all of the books. This was my least favorite in the series. That's not to say I didn't like it because I like anything Stephanie Perkins has concocted. That being said, I do think Isla and Josh are a cute couple. I was rooting for them um, and I I, I did like it. I don't. I didn't hate it. I don't want you guys to think that, but it just wasn't my favorite in the series. I think my favorites go Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and then I live in the Happily Ever After. The final four star read I had this month was P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. This is the second book in the To All the Boys I Love Before duology. I cannot say how much this disappointed me. Um, I wish that this book didn't exist in the sense that I wish she would have just wrapped To All the Boys I Loved Before with an extra maybe 100 pages rather than having this book. It was awesome writing as usual because Jenny Han's writing style is fantastic and it is still a cute quirky romance but there were just some points in it where I felt like it was a little bit unnecessary. Peter and Lara Jean fighting all the time for 200 pages and, and I just felt like it was predictable, but again, contemporary romance can be very predictable. Then my final only book that I gave a three star, and I'm sure some of you are going to be so mad at me that I did, it is Redeeming Love by Francine Rivers. Okay, if you are Christian, you've probably heard of this book. I had heard of this book for so long, so I finally decided to read it. And I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Um, okay. I'm gonna spoil this book so if you haven't read it don't continue watching um so this book is modeled after the book Hosea in the Bible um, we know that Hosea was asked by God to marry a prostitute and she kept running away and he went back and got her okay I get that this book was so frustrating okay let me tell you why I am not somebody who can take three page endings, okay? I need some kind of, I just can't get an epilogue. Like, I need some kind of explanation. Her name is Angel. She goes by a bunch of different names, but she runs away for like five or ten years and then suddenly comes back and he just takes her back. And there's only three pages. It just says, okay. Like, there was no explanation. There was nothing. It was just, I get that it's a really nice love story and it definitely exemplifies, you know, what the true meaning of love is and those kinds of things but it was so I get that it's not going to be very realistic but it was just so far-fetched that I couldn't even attach to it and I, I loved her writing style I love her mark of the lion trilogy but I just think this wasn't the best book and it was so hyped up but I just I didn't love it I didn't love it and I'm sorry but I just I can't do it Endings for me are so critical. If you're somebody who doesn't love endings and it doesn't really matter to you, but I care so much about how something ends. So for me, when it ended and it was just like, oh, okay, cool, like it just happened. It was like, what just, what just happened? I've been waiting 200 pages for this. What just happened? So that was my February wrap up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and I will see you back here later.